So go to the website, uh, download this file two, click on file two, you should see a foxtail. Uh, you can just save the image to your desktop. And while I'm saving things, I'm gonna go ahead and save the third file while, while I'm at it. And these are a bunch of weeds. Okay, so I'm gonna go and open my files. Okay, now we have a foxtail. Now, what? how are we going to get this foxtail out of this picture? Okay, first of all, if we use a lasso, like, you know how hard it would be to, to like, use this lasso to get all these, like, little foxtail thingies um, off of that image? Very difficult. Um, what's another way we could use? Like, even if we use a magic wand, like, it, that'd be really hard to, like, select those little dots or freros. So what we're going to do is use the extract tool. So I'm going to go to layer, sorry, uh, filter extract, filter extract. And what we're basically going to do is draw a circle and see my brush size is kind of too big. I'm going to bring down my brush size. Uh, maybe it's a 10. Okay, so I'm going to go around like basically all of it. And I'm going to continue on. Make sure you get all of the foxtail selected with this neon green part. Okay. So now the, all of the outsides are selected. Now we go in the top left corner, the fill button, and we're gonna fill it. So basically we're saying, hey, get all of this stuff inside here too. After you fill it, you're gonna go to preview and notice that it did a pretty good job of extracting like those little details of the foxtail. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, OK. And now I'm going to hit the V key and I'm going to drag that into my bird. Uh, and I'm going to deselect that. And I'm going to take it, Command T to transform it. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Make sure you hold down the Shift key when you resize. And should have should be something like that. Okay, you got it. Okay, next we're gonna extract this these weeds. So uh, we're done with this foxtail, so I'm gonna get rid of that, and I'm gonna open up the fox, the weeds. Same thing. We're gonna go to filter extract. Uh, what we're gonna do is, um, first of all, on the right side it says force foreground. Basically, if you choose force foreground and, ch and click on that, and then uh, choose the eyedropper tool. When you choose the eyedropper tool, you're going to select the color of the weeds. And notice that the color changed on the right side. What that basically means is we're going to be extracting this color. So Photoshop thinks, hey, I'm only going to be selecting this kind of stuff. Because look in the background. See this blue in the background? It's smart. It's not going to select that blue. It's only going to select that color. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to click on our uh, highlighter tool. I'm going to increase the brush size, maybe 30, actually bigger, 50. And then I'm going to highlight all of the weeds. Um, you don't have to be perfect with the weeds. Just try to do the best you can. Um, just fill it in.
Okay. Um, and then I'm just gonna fill it all in because when you choose the color, uh, the for forest foreground, you have to fill in all the color. Okay. Then you can go hit preview. And in preview, you're going to, uh, for display, choose black matte. So that's easier to see. So notice that um, I kind of need to brush this up a little bit. Like it took off some of this stuff that I need, that I, I didn't want. Okay. So I'm going to go hit the eraser tool on the top left and erase some of this. Um, some of this that I don't want. So it gets more exact. Okay, so that's a little bit better. So I'm gonna hit okay. And I'm gonna drag that into my egret. I'm going to command T to transform it, make it smaller, and again, to zoom, hit the Z button, or key, and then we have our... We have that. <clears throat> okay, next, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to load the selection from our egret that we had, and we're gonna hit inverse, and we're gonna have a special effect called colored pencil. Um, and notice it's only to the background and not the egret. So let's go ahead, click on background for your layer, go to selection, load selection, choose egret, and we're gonna click invert because we want everything outside the egret to be uh, selected. Um, after you select all of the things outside of the image, you're going to go and have a filter effect of colored pencil. So go to filter, artistic, colored pencil. Now no notice this cool effect, like everything except the egret has colored pencil effect, which is really good. Uh, you can choose like the pencil width and the strokes and the brightness. When you're done, hit OK. And now we have a cool image with the background. Um, it's changed, but the egret is the same. OK. Uh, the l last part is we're going to do a gradient. Now, there's a couple ways you can do a gradient. We can do a mass gradient. OK. Um, but usually people don't use uh, mass gradients very often. They'll usually just use a layer gradient. Uh, you can do either. You could choose a mass gradient. To do a mass gradient, you go to your channels and then you create a new mask with your gradient. Uh, but basically, like you would create a, let's see, a new, create a new channel and then you go to like gradient and then you choose black to white, hit OK. And then you can do that as your gradient. Okay, so that's one way you can do it. Um, another way, create a new layer and then make a gradient and then put that um, in the top layer and then change your opacity down okay so that's another way you can do that 